What's up guys? Welcome back to part two of my nesting vlog. I still have a ton of stuff left to do so I'm really excited to get everything done because I'm feeling a little bit anxious. If you're new here, hi I'm Sam. I am 36 weeks pregnant with my husband and I's honestly little angel baby. We went through three miscarriages prior to getting pregnant. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I guess I could start this video with a little bump date. 36 weeks, there he is. I'm just gonna jump right into this video and get started we are going to start off by stocking my nursing cart I got this cart off of Amazon and I will link it in my storefront down below it's just like one of the metal utility carts it's nothing fancy I'm gonna break this cart up the way that baby list kind of has it described on their website they have like three different tiers one of them is baby care one of them is self-care and the other one is like your nursing supplies the first thing I'm gonna put on this caddy is my Frida baby portable sound machine and nightlight the whole point of this caddy is so I can like move around at night and obviously like nurse him during the day and I can roll it between the living room and the bedroom or wherever I need to go I'm gonna start with the bottom tier which is going to be some nursing stuff I've got my electric breast pump a lot of the stuff still needs to be sterilized but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here anyways it'll probably remind me to sterilize it so I've got my electric breast pump that I'm just gonna keep inside the packaging and I just got the free breast pump that came with my insurance my plan is to like get the hang of pumping and then probably upgrade to a more portable electric pump I also have an attachment for this breast pump that allows you to pump directly into to the breast milk storage bags and I did get some of these so I'll likely put these down here as well next up I got my manual breast pump I also have some refillable bottles for this guy as well also in this tier I'm going to put my Haka and I've got some reusable washable nursing pads as well I was also given these heat cooling breast pads to relieve any pain. Someone gifted these to me at my baby shower, so I'm gonna put these on this tier as well. Okay, next we're gonna do the middle section, and that's gonna be everything baby care. First, I'm gonna start with this portable leather changing mat that I got off of Amazon by Ava and Oliver. I got it in this cream color, just a portable changing mat. This way at night when I'm breastfeeding him and he needs like a diaper change or something afterwards, we can just lay this mat down on the bed and we don't have to get up and go to the changing table next I just have some diapers I also have wipes I'm also gonna put two swaddles in this tier these are just some basic muslin swaddles that I got from Aspen and company I have one in this like olive green color and then I also have one in a tan color now I'm gonna put in some burp cloths I've got three muslin burp cloths that I ordered on Amazon I hear you can never have too many burp cloths we've also got some diaper cream I've got these little refill bags they're like little trash bags for diapers they honestly look like the pet poop bags just in case we don't want to run to the diaper genie in the middle of the night and last in this compartment I'm gonna put some passies these are ma'am infant passies this top compartment is gonna be everything self-care so the first thing I'm gonna put in there is the book that I'm currently reading wow that fits perfectly I'm also going to keep a water bottle up here I invested in a Stanley water bottle after my postpartum class they kind of made fun of me I was picked on in class because I didn't have a water bottle with a straw and they made me put my hand right here as if I was holding baby for breastfeeding and like open my twist top water bottle with my other hand and they were like get yourself a water bottle that has a straw also up here for self-care I'm gonna put a few more things to help me with nursing so I do have some disposable nursing pads and I think I'm gonna take this little mason jar and just put some in there and set it on top I also have a lactation massager from Mom Cozy. It comes in this cute little pouch, so I will keep it in the pouch for now. I also have nipple butter. And finally, for nursing relief, I have the Medela Tender Care Hydrogel soothing gel pads these were recommended to me by the birthing center that i'm going to i'm also going to put some lactation cookies up here next this is really in the baby care arena but this is haka's electric nail file i just don't have any room in the second tier so i'm going to set this up here i'm also going to put some hand sanitizing wipes and the last thing i'm going to put up here is a hair clip with some hair ties 
I feel like this is gonna be super useful to nurse him at night. This was kind of a last minute thing. I wasn't really planning on making a nursing caddy, but then a girlfriend of mine told me that it's like you 10 out of 10 need a nursing caddy. And I feel like for our living situation, it's gonna work out really great. So I'm really glad I decided to do this. Over the next few days, I'm gonna set up my postpartum drawer. We're gonna make some homemade lactation cookies and I'll probably pack like a little diaper bag or something. We are currently in my bathroom, which is where I'm gonna set up this postpartum caddy look how big my belly has gotten i feel like it is just like really popped in these past few days t-shirts that used to fit me like four or five days ago no longer fit me feeling huge right now here's our toilet we have a double vanity sink but this drawer right here at the bottom is actually where I'm gonna set up the postpartum caddy stuff because it's so close to the toilet. I feel like it'll be such a convenient space. And there's not too much area from like the front of the toilet to the wall. We've got our hamper here. So I feel like this drawer here is gonna be just perfect to put all the postpartum stuff that I'm gonna need while I'm in the restroom recovering from delivery. Currently in the store, we just have a bunch of random stuff. So first I'm gonna clean all of this stuff out. So far, I've kept just a few things in here. I have this little handy basket thing that I got at Goodwill. It's like a picnic basket thing for cutlery. I kept our mouthwash in here, my ring cleaner, our cases for our toothbrushes because we're actually gonna need to bring those when we leave to go to the birthing center, our chargers for our toothbrushes and the charger for Sam's razor. So that stuff is still in this drawer. First, I've got adult diapers, as fun as that sounds. So I'm gonna try to fit some in here. I've heard that you don't need too many of these, but that's hit or miss for everybody. I'm just gonna put them like that. Next, I wanna put these Instant Ice Maxi Pads, these padsicles from Freedom Mom in here. It says, while pad is still in the sleeve, fold it in half until you hear a popping sound. Shake it, tear open sleeve, remove pad peel off the paper strip to reveal the adhesive and place it into underwear. We're just gonna open these and see what they're all about. Instant cold therapy plus absorbent pad in one. Basically a double date for your vagina, that's what it says. Next, I've got my little Perry bottle. So this is Freedom Mom's Perry bottle. I'm gonna keep it in the bag for now. Put this in here. Next, I have got Tux. My girlfriend actually got me text and said that they were just like amazing for her postpartum. They are medicated cooling pads with witch hazel and put them in here as well. I also have some Dermaplast, which is pain, burn, and itch relief. And then I have Earth Mama's Herbal Perineal Spray, which I've heard is really good. And lastly, I do have Freedom Mom's Perineal Healing Foam. Freedom Mom really goes all out in their packaging. Yay! So a really quick breakdown of this postpartum drawer. This, like I said, is the basket. It's got our um, mouthwash back here and like the toothbrush holders and stuff that we still need to use. I've got the pad stickers here. I've got the disposable underwear here. And then my peri bottle, which I will eventually take out of this wrapping. Tux, Dermaplast, perineal spray, and perineal foam. Good morning, guys. It is... Monday, March 13th. I am officially 37 weeks pregnant today and I am really, really tired this morning. I got a terrible night of sleep last night. I woke up at like 1 a.m. and didn't get back to sleep until like 5 30 and then i only slept for another hour so i am just so exhausted this morning late stage pregnancy really does hit different i am just i'm feeling it my energy level is super low so today i'm going to do something that is like homey for me and make some cookies but it's going to be really fun because i'm going to try a lactation cookie recipe baking is honestly something that really soothes me and it's like a solitude time for me and i think that's going to be the perfect thing for me to accomplish today when i was looking up recipes for postpartum and just things that would be really good for breast milk production and nursing and stuff like that i wanted to look at things like cookies and muffins to really see what differentiates the like lactation cookies from 
other cookies and muffins, like if it was really just the same thing. And I came to find that brewer's yeast is something that's really crucial in baking for lactation stuff. And so I thought that was really fascinating and I ordered some brewer's yeast on Amazon and it came in a few days ago. And so we are gonna make some chocolate chip cookies with brewer's yeast in them today. Time to try one. This is gonna help me grow boobs. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It tastes just like a chocolate chip cookie. Mm -hmm. I think it's working. I already feel them coming in. It's not supposed <laughs> to grow boobs, babe. It's supposed <laughs> to help with milk production. Oh, my bad. All right, it is the next day. Lactation cookies are done, and I have a lot more energy today than I did yesterday. I wanted to make homemade lactation cookies, but yesterday was just like the perfect day to do it, so I got it done earlier than I thought I would, and I got to try them out, and they are delicious. I will link the recipe that I used in the description of this video. Baking is just something for me that like brings me so much life and brings me so much joy, especially when I'm having like a really bummy day. I also feel like since my nesting instinct has kicked in, all I've wanted to do is bake, and I've kind of procrastinated on all of the other things that need to get done. On this last day of part two, I just wanna quickly pack a little diaper bag for him. This might be a little premature, but I just wanna have everything done so that I don't have to worry about it, and I might add or take away things from this diaper bag, but it doesn't hurt to have a little diaper bag packed. So this is the Uppa Baby diaper bag. It is in the color Stella, which is like this gray color. This diaper bag also comes with a bottle cooler, so that is really cool. And it also comes with a portable changing pad, I believe. So here is a little wipeable portable changing pad that it also comes with. I'm gonna first start by stuffing this guy with some of the smaller items that I'm gonna put in this diaper bag. This cute little checkered zip up pouch is just from Amazon. I will link it down below. I got a few of these to use for the diaper bag as well as the hospital bag when we pack that. So in here I'm going to put some nipple cream, hand sanitizing wipes, a travel size Vaseline, and I also have a travel size diaper cream along with an extra nursing bra. This nursing bra is from Bodily. I got, I think it's called the Everything Bra. I'm not really sure. It comes in like a set of three. So I got three of these, but I'm going to keep an extra one in the diaper bag. So that is this little guy. And I'm going to put this in the front compartment with the portable changing pad. I also have a little bag of reusable nursing pads. These are the same nursing pads that I put in my nursing caddy. And then I'm going to add some of the Dr. Brown's disposable nursing pads to this little pouch as well. The last thing I'm gonna put in this front compartment is my nursing cover up. In the back compartment, I'm going to start with some bottles. There's also some little pockets back here. So in one of these pockets, I'm going to put a swaddle. This swaddle is from Snuggle Me Organic and it is in the birch color. I feel like the fabric of the swaddle folds up a little bit nicer than the muslin swaddle. So I feel like it'll fit easier into a diaper bag. And then in the compartment right next to it, I'm just gonna put some burp cloths. These burp cloths are from Amazon. They had really good reviews and they are just white muslin burp cloths. Also in the diaper bag, I'm gonna put one of the hand crocheted blankets that my family made for him. This one is made by my grandfather's sister. My mom also made him another hand crocheted blanket and it's like a dark chocolate brown color. These are just so special to me. I still have my crocheted blanket that my mother made me when I was a baby. Obviously, we're gonna need diapers in a diaper bag. I'm gonna put these in this little pouch up here. And along with diapers, we're gonna need wipes as well. And then I've got some extra clothes for him. So I just have a long sleeve onesie and a short sleeve onesie. And I also have an extra pair of socks as well. I also have his little passy holder and inside here, I have one passy with a little passy clip to it. And I may hook this to the outside of the backpack. 
It's got a little strap on the outside of the backpack that I feel like I can hook this to. And I took the Munchkin UV Passy Sanitizer out of the changing table because I feel like it will be easier for me to sanitize Passies here at home. So I feel like the portable one will probably be better off in the diaper bag. So that's where I'm gonna put this guy. And then I'm also gonna hook this onto where the Passies are hooked onto this backpack. These are the little like diaper disposable bags that look like dog poop bags to me. And the last thing I'm gonna put in here is just a little weighted teddy bear that my best friend got him. That feels so full. Okay, so everything is packed in here. It feels so full. And then these are the little clips on the side. I have heard first time moms always overstuff these things. And I'm sure the things that I'll put into this diaper bag will change with time. But I just wanted to have a little diaper bag packed for now. That concludes the end of nesting part two. There will be a part three video of just some last minute things I've got to do. I am also packing my hospital bag tomorrow. I've got everything organized on my dresser over there to be packed. So stay tuned for that video as well. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and nesting for my little baby boy. I'm so excited to meet him. I can't believe all of this stuff is finally coming together and I'm just so glad you guys are a part of it. Some of you have been here with my story for over a year now and you guys are just so special to me and I can't believe I'm like making nesting videos and our little miracle baby is on his way. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye YouTube.